Hey everybody, it's Ricardo, and I am sitting here at the New Otani Hotel in Japan with Yoshitori Ono, who is producer on Street Fighter, and even the Tokyo Game Show is going on right now. We've snuck away because he has some very exciting news to share with us, which you can kind of tell. So, uh, lay it on us. What are you showing us right now? Hi, I'm so, uh, I'm here today to announce to you officially Super Street Fighter 4, which is the uh, follow-up to Street Fighter 4 that everyone's been asking for. We're hoping to uh, respond to a lot of requests from fans with this title. So when you say Super Street Fighter 4, everybody has very specific expectations about what that means because of Super Street Fighter 2. So tell us about what you're including in this new incarnation of the game. So I guess first I should explain why we kind of skipped over Champion Edition and Turbo and jumped straight to Super. Uh, and that's because the scale uh, of this update is, is really huge. Uh, we're looking at a lot of characters. We're thinking around 8-ish uh, added to the roster, as well as adding a lot of stuff to the online uh, uh, features of the game because a lot of fans have been asking for more online features that people could enjoy together, uh, you know, as a larger group and things like that. So we're looking to add that sort of thing, uh, as well as adding tons of characters. So it's a much bigger update than something like a Champion Edition or a Turbo would uh, lead you to believe. All right, well, let's dive right into the characters. We obviously know T-Hawk. Uh, there is somebody that we don't recognize back there, and that's two out of the six. So you want to tell us about these guys and what to expect from the ones that you haven't talked to us about yet. So the new female character that you see here behind me, her name is Judy, and she is the first Korean character ever in a Street Fighter game, and she's a Taekwondo fighter, which it's hard to believe we've neglected that for so long since it is, you know, an Olympic sport these days. So we're happy to bring her into the game, first Korean, first Taekwondo user in Street Fighter. She should mix things up nicely. Uh, also, she's going to be uh, very important in the main storyline. She's going to figure into uh, the story proceedings this time around, so I hope you look forward uh, to seeing just what her deal is and how she fits into the grand scheme of things. There a lot of characters he wanted to put in the four, uh, but just didn't have the, the time or energy to get them all in. Uh, so a lot of those people are going to be characters I wanted to put in initially, and most of them, if not all of them, are going to be ones that the fans have been asking for. Uh, we've been very active about reading the message boards and seeing what's going on, you know, on GameSpot and elsewhere, and uh, you know, listening to the voices of the fans. So the characters you're going to see added, are, a lot of them are going to be ones that people have wanted for a long time and have been very vocal about asking for. So if you've been keeping an eye on the forums, then you know that there's a very long list of things that fans have been asking for, just in terms of gameplay, from Street Fighter 4. Um, are you addressing any of that in Super Street Fighter 4? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, when I say we've been looking at message boards and listening to what fans want, uh, we're definitely not just talking about uh, additional characters. Uh, you know, there's all manner of uh, you know gameplay-related things that, uh, that people have been perhaps disappointed or perhaps maybe they expected more with the original four, whether it be online stuff, whether it be other gameplay related things, the fine tuning of the actual, uh, you know, balance itself between characters and that sort of thing. Uh, we've absolutely been listening to stuff like that and there's going to be a lot of changes implemented this time around. The good news is that, uh, you know, the develop, uh, development team themselves, a lot of uh, them wanted to do certain things with four but simply didn't have the time to do it. And it turns out a lot of things they wanted to do are exactly what the fans are asking for. So it's, it's we're, we're in a good place. We're definitely on the same page with that. And a lot of the team, even after four came out actually spent their own free time you know a after work after other projects were done uh you know fine-tuning and adjusting things just on their own time is sort of an experiment and a lot of that's going to make its way into super as well and as far as the what super is this is an actual disc based game and not a download correct yeah, there were times when we considered uh, just going with kind of a, a download approach to this, but the reality of it is there's just so much content in it and so much fine-tuning going on, it's just not practical to do as a download, so it will be a, uh, a full-on, uh, proper disc release. Uh, but I do want to make you this promise right now that it's not going to be a full-price game. Uh, we're going to give you a price that you would expect from an update, even though it is uh, on a physical disc when you buy it. Okay, so as far as content goes, we're talking new players, new stages, gameplay tweaks. Now, you, you'd mentioned in the past for 4 that you'd wanted to get in bonus stages and, and some of the, the, the nostalgic stuff that the fans have been asking for. Is this something we're going to see in this game, finally? See, I'm, I'm well aware that people uh, wanted and even expected uh, bonus stages in Street Fighter 4. I believe it was uh, you know an interview with you, in fact, where I, I said that I really wanted to put him in, which kind of mutated into that I was going to put him in for sure when it came to the message boards, and they kind of tore me a new one when they ended up not being in there. Just know that I have been uh, very vocal with the director of Super that we have to, uh, to try and uh, get them in this time. It should be a little safer to make some expectations on, uh, on the fans' part this time. Now, even though this is basically going to offer a bunch of upgrades over 4, you did mention in, in the demo that we just had that getting rid of your 4 disc may not necessarily be a good idea because there's something that might benefit fans, correct? 
original. Uh, so yeah, yeah, to be clear, this is not uh, an expansion disc in as much as you don't need the original disc or 4 to play it. Uh, but I will say that uh, you'll be happy that you didn't sell your uh, version of 4 uh, when this game comes out. It'll probably just be, you know, just a little something, but something to reward the fans who, uh, who hung on to their, their disc of the original version of 4. There'll be something a little special for you in store. All right, well, you've definitely piqued our interest. So the big question is, when are we going to get a hold of this thing and play it at home? Now we're aiming for a uh, spring 2010 at least, trying to get it out as early in spring as possible so you can get your hands on it. So yeah, look forward to it. We're anxious to, uh, to deliver this to the fans. So there you go. That is your first look at Super Street Fighter 4, a game that was pretty much created because the fans demanded it. So good job, y'all. Uh, keep giving them feedback because who knows what you guys can get into the next version of the game or even this one. So be sure and check on the site for more on the game as soon as it becomes available.